cool Lone Survivor that looks like a really awesome movie. And it's directed by... The guy that did Battleship? What? <laughs> Welcome to Roll Reviews. I'm Chase. I'm here to review Lone Survivor. And this is based off of a book, which is also based off of a real mission of four Navy SEALs dropped in Afghanistan, and they basically are on a mission to kill a Taliban leader who kills people in the military. Now, let's get into this. As you can tell from my intro, um, I have uh, gained weight. No, I, no I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, what I, for my intro, I meant that the director of Lone Survivor did direct Battleship, Peter Berg. Hmm. You know, what's very interesting about Peter Berg is that he's a very military, you know, person. He likes to make movies about the military, and he tries to respect them, and, you know, he did with Battleship, and that didn't turn out so well, but the Lone Survivor, it seems like he made a mistake with Battleship, he cried in a corner, and then he realized he could actually make a good movie about the military, which is Lone Survivor. This is a very intense movie, I think Peter Berg really nails that, and he captures the intense grittiness of war, and just humanity in general, of the good and evil, and I thought he did a very good job from start to finish. Uh, I just, I really enjoyed this movie and it just shocked me as someone that did Battleship did this movie because this is way off of that and Taylor Kitsch is also in this movie. Hey, hey, yeah, that guy's had three bombs in a row. Alright, so overall Peter Berg, awesome directing. The acting, you have Emil Hirsch, Ben Foster, uh, Mark Wahlberg as the main character and you have Taylor Kitsch who is in bombs such as John Carter. Anyways, Ben Foster. He's an underrated actor. You need to see everything Ben Foster's in. Mark Wahlberg's always good. And then uh, Emile Hirsch, I've always liked him ever since Alpha Dog. And Ben Foster was in that too. Hey, hey, hey. And I just did some Matt McConaughey right there. Anyways, the acting all around was fantastic. I, I thought these four guys had the best relationships in the movie. Like, you could tell, like, they were in their, um, uh, like, they've been in the military for a long time, they, like, they are brothers, and they, they really enjoy each other's company, and it's just really sad to know, you know, when they're going into battle, you know, like, they, some of them are going to die, the movie is called Lone Survivor, um, but you can tell they really had, like, really good chemistry on this film, and I, I commend them for all that, like, they're all awesome. Uh, Eric Van is also in it, moving on, cinematography, it, it reminded me of, like, a, like a Saving Private Ryan in the terms of when they filmed the action was like gritty and yes it was handheld but it was still like stable enough to where you can tell what was going on and I really appreciated the way it was shot it made it it, it was beautiful look, to look at to where it was shot and when the action was happening you got really intense and you got really into it and that's what comes into the editing the editing and sound design of this movie is incredible I have never seen a military movie like this in my life in terms of uh, the gunshots sounded real they felt real when people you know got killed like that looked real it didn't look over glorized uh, uh, when people fell down like a, a cliff or something rolling down you can hear like the bone crunching and it just sounded so awful that uh, you're just sitting in your seat like going damn like this happens this is what war is about and uh, First two hour runtime, I thought the pace was just fine because like literally when they get dropped into Afghanistan, it's like balls to the wall the entire way through. Um, and so for that, and the sound, dear God, like whoever mixed that whole movie with in terms of like the war aspect and like, <sighs> it was good stuff. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and give Lone Survivor a 9 out of 10. I think this is a very well done movie about brothers and for, um, relationships with people in the military, and military in general. Uh, usually there's movies nowadays don't even, they don't even portray the military right. There was an old lady that walked out of the screen that I was at, and they uh, complained that it was too bloody. And I wanted to turn around and go, ma'am, I see your concern, but would you rather have, instead of the red blood, to be blue pixie dust instead of that, and for the guns they could use candy canes, and for the bullets they could use M&Ms. It's like, come on lady, they're trying to portray war, it's not going to be pretty. 
And I think that's what really drove home about this movie is that it felt realistic. It touched on humanity and how we humans deal with stuff and and there's good and bad people out there. That was awesome. If uh, it's playing in your city right now, which is very limited, of uh, New York and L.A., uh, I would suggest to go see it. But it opens January 10th, and that's when you should go see it. So anyways, what do you guys think of Lone Survivor? If you have seen it, comment that place to rub below my face and let me know. And thanks for watching Real Reviews. I'm Chase Lee, and tune in next time for whatever I review next. See you guys later.